and this is a bit more detail on how to actually get leads into this prospect in view into this leads flow uh, for yourself or for your sales reps okay so um, there's a couple of things we need to look at here including the life cycle stage of the property so that's the thing that we're going to use to manage the leads um, I'll show you it sort of the backwards way round if you like uh, but at the minute if I scroll down to the leads I can see uh, my leads here I've got three that I'm attempting to uh, follow up with I've got zero new leads and I'm connected to zero if I click through to follow up with the leads themselves these are they um, as it's a demo account all three of them are actually me and if you uh, click on each of the leads then your view will change uh, to the relevant lead. So the relevant lead now on the on the right hand side, as we've seen before, we can see this chap is enrolled in a sequence. We're therefore attempting um, to contact. Uh, once we've connected, the next one will be lit up, uh, and then we can qualify or disqualify the lead. And we've got basically everything that we need to know about uh, this contact, including the company, any deals, any tickets, and so on. So we can work the lead, if you like, here. Uh, we can make a note, we can send an email, uh, make a telephone call and so on, <clears throat> all from this one place rather than hopping about in between the different stages. Great. So how do we get leads in there in the first place? So let's have a look at the leads section itself. And over here you can see there's an add lead and an actions button. If you click the add lead button, we can search by contact or company, but it's probably easier to use the actions button and that is to pull in leads or to set open the settings that allows you to pull leads in. So if I go to pull in leads, you can see here that HubSpot is asking me for the life cycle stage of the leads that I want to pull in. And I can also do that over the period. So let's say this, I want to see new leads that have come into HubSpot within the last 30 days. Uh, I can set that here. And that will show you, show you that there's actually no leads to bring in, okay? So if I extend that period, let's go up to six months. Now this is a demo poll, so nothing's actually happened. Um, within the six months to create a new lead. Therefore, this is saying it's not going to pull any leads in. Okay, now what I could do is I could change the stages, um, but actually, again, as a demo account, none of these lead stages have changed within the six months. Okay, so um, I can't pull anything through. So, what do I do? And this is where we get um, a little bit more clever with the system. So, whether the system I think really comes into its own. If I uh, open up the contacts database in the CRM, I'll just take the these top uh, 50 accounts here. Um, so these are just pretty much just random accounts, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the life cycle stage. You can see they're all lead, but I'm going to change the life cycle stage on these 50 accounts so that I can pick them up in the lead flow. Now, bear in mind, I would be lead, changing this lead stage, this life cycle stage, I'm sorry. I'd be changing this to um, tie in with maybe a campaign. So if I've got a campaign that I want to reach out to people who recently attended a webinar, that life cycle stage may already say webinar um, because I've, I've created a, a custom lead. Or I may be pulling something out of my database like this. I may be pulling out something by the rep, by the persona, uh, by the contact owner or, or anybody else. And just so almost artificially pushing them into the lead status. Okay, and this is how I do it. So in this case, I'm going to select uh, the first 50, just the first 50. Um, that could be a, a static list or an active list or, or, or wherever else, as, as I mentioned. And then we're going to edit the lifecycle stage. And we're just going to search for lifecycle. And we're going to hit it with, uh, I'm going to go with another, just because that's easier to see but that again that could be whatever you've decided to create right that could be your webinar that could be entered through a website form that could be anything whatever did the life cycle stage updated the life cycle stage to other as you can see there um, and now if I go back over to the prospecting screen when I look to pull those leads in select leads select pull in leads and then select the other, you can see that it's populated with 47 new leads. Three of them were already in, you might remember. Um, so if I click pull in those leads now, uh, that refreshes me on the settings and I just click next. 
and it takes a couple of seconds. Those leads are now in the database. If I go back to the summary page, I see my tasks, my sequences uh, that are enrolled at the minute, and there are all those new leads. Look, there's the 48 new leads. Um, if I want to go and follow up those leads, I click on that, and now I can go through them one by one and work those leads. Come back to them, uh, leave them there, and process them out once they qualify and they're ready to go into a pipeline. That's the key part, right? You're doing the work on these leads here, not in the pipeline. I hope that helps and makes sense. Any questions, as always, give me a shout. Or give us an email on tony at realinbound.co.uk. Look forward to chatting again soon.